Ladies and gentlemen, this is the day that we have all been waiting for. The coming of our father, the president, and the founder of Zayoja Forward and Faith Ministries, Archbishop Professor Ezekiel Guti, and our mother, Dr. Yuna Guti, to Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. Right now, we are at the airport with our local pastors, overseers, the administrator, Reverend Shed Mbizo, and our bishop, Dr. Washington Rupapa. Tasha Mtenda, here's more. Hello, hello, hello. We are here at the Edmonton International Airport where we are waiting for our father and our mother, the founders of Forward in Faith Ministries International. They are here. They are here in a few minutes. We will be seeing them coming. Our father, Dr. Ezekiel, and our mother, Dr. Yuna Guti. Yes! It's very good that Baba Guti is coming. I'm so happy. It's been many he, 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 he's 99 years old. And he's Thank very... you, Baba Gucci and Mama Gucci. We miss you so much. Hey, it's been many years, so I'm pretty excited. It's a very special experience. It's, it's nice because um, we haven't seen Baba Gucci in a long time. Baba Guti is, is a very great person. He's been living till now by the grace of God. It's just amazing. Yeah, he's very amazing. We praise for him. We care about him. We, we pray for him. Baba, I know that you are very excited and everybody's very excited about the coming of our father. What do you want to say? To All right, so, so, so that is amazing. We are so excited to be here. This is Edmonton International Airport. I am so happy to be here because our father has, land, has landed. He has already landed, our father and our mother are here. They are coming out of the plane right now. This is a miracle because we're praying and believing God for this. It was nearly impossible, but here we are, our father just landed here in Edmonton to come for our Deeper Life Conference, to see their children, and to see our national center, and to open our center for us this season. We are so happy, we can't hold our peace. We are excited because this is a milestone. And as Canada, we say, welcome to the seven apostles of God. We, we are so much excited. I tell you, Chris, this is the happening of the doing of the Lord in the land of Canada. People here were so, have been so hungry for the men of God and the women of God to come into this country after spending uh, so many years without stepping the land of Canada. And you know, it is always a miracle when the man of God steps in your land, you know a lot of things will begin to change and great things will begin to happen. So our hope is so high. We have great faith, faith to intercept what God has for us in store. Our hearts are overwhelmed. I can tell you, even this evening, the number of people who have been flocking to the airport just to come and see the man of God. The amazing thing is that seeing him in Canada at 99 years of age and still preaching, we are waiting for that great message that the Lord has sent his servant and his made servant to come and declare in the land of Canada. God uses his servant to prophesy, to confirm, to uplift, to give hope to his people and to revive the church. A lot of things are going to happen. Chains are going to be broken. Those that are bound are going to be delivered by the power of God. Just by the anointing of the presence of the men of God, a, a great harvest is going to take place. God bless you. We are expecting more from the Lord in Canada.
so much. We are excited. Hello. We are excited to have our father and our mother in our nation. This is a miracle to see our father and our mother here. It's a great miracle. If you are Greek and you give a big amen at the airport. Now we want our father to talk to us. I have arrived without a visa. Yes. No visa. Yes. Yes. Thank you very much. I've come with a good news. Amen. Jesus of you. And uh, we have come full according to the word of God. Full of the blessing to pour to the children of God here. So God allow me to come. You know what they said? Say, please next time come with a visa, huh? <laughs> so I'm I'm so happy that through your prayer I've arrived and we are going to have a good time together by the grace of God. So we serve a wonderful God. What I want to tell you that time to enjoy the kingdom of God. Amen. Oh yeah, you. Some some will say you're still struggling. <laughs> we used to pray, Thy kingdom come. The kingdom of God has arrived on earth, and He said, Repent, for the kingdom of God has arrived on earth. So. Uh, some people that's preaching think, think about go, going to heaven. You go to heaven when you die, but God, God did not create you to die to go to. Do you think God is short of people in heaven? <laughs> no, 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 no. God wants you to enjoy life while you're still in this world. When you, are, when you die, then you. <laughs> No, when you die, do you want to die tomorrow? No, so enjoy the kingdom. <laughs> God bless you.